Hey, what's happening there, YouTube? It's your friend, the One X Factor, here today. And I've got a, a small tutorial for you on an issue that I was having, and I think that maybe it might help you guys in case you're having the same situation. So about two and a half months ago, I went ahead and completed my Skylake build on a 6700K, and I decided to go with the Sabertooth Z170 board from Asus. And since that did have M.2 compatibility, I went ahead and chose the Samsung SSD 950 Pro. So the problem that I was having is that it installed fine, everything was working great, but I realized my boot times were taking anywhere between 45 seconds to a minute to get started. And that was definitely way too long, even for a mechanical drive, if you ask me. So I figured something was wrong, and after I did a little bit of mis investigating, I realized that apparently I didn't do the installation properly. So that's what I am here to help you with. And in my situation, since I had already installed everything and had been using the computer, um, you know, for about two months, I had to go ahead and do a clean boot just to make sure I did it right. So that's what I'm going to guide you through. So the first thing you want to ha go ahead and do is back up anything if you are using only that drive or if you using two drives, you know, make sure you shut down and unplug your other drives. The only thing you want to have connected to your motherboard other than the mandatory items is the SSD. Unplug all your, uh, you know, USBs and everything. So first thing you want to go ahead and do is um, create a USB alright and this is the website you're going to do and I will go ahead and leave you a link in the description below so you will wanna go ahead and create a USB and download the tool and it's pretty self-explanatory so remember you create a USB uh, download the tool and it'll guide you through it since I already did it I'm not gonna go through that but if you have any questions let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer you all right, so we want to go ahead and reboot the PC and spam that delete button so we can get right back on uh, BIOS. And once we are in the uh, BIOS utility, we want to go ahead and hit advanced mode. And we're looking for the boot tab. And we want to make sure that our USB is being recognized real quick. So uh, where is that? Let me go ahead and scroll down just a little bit and we will see that there it is the uh, USB 3.0 and next thing we want to do before we go ahead and do that uh, I'm just making sure I've already done this but I want to make sure uh, CSM make sure that that is disabled we want to go to secure boot and our OS type make sure it says other OS then we want to go to uh, key management and if there's anything on here that says clear keys or clear key BIOS or whatever, we want to go ahead and clear the keys. And once we have cleared keys, uh, let's just go ahead and make sure that our USB is the number one option on there so that when we reboot, the uh, PC will go straight to it. And let's go ahead and reset. It says it hasn't been changed, but that's because I already did it and I was just making sure. But uh, let's go ahead and reboot it now and make sure that it takes us right to where we need to go. All right, guys, and once we uh, reset, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to watch the whole thing. But we do want to do a uh, clean install and we do want to go ahead and format the uh, hard drive, the uh, M.2 hard drive and make sure that you have no other hard drives plugged in or USBs as it can cause it to sometimes go into the wrong place. All right, so finally, once Windows is installed and everything and you've got your operating system up, the first thing you want to do is go to this website on Samsung and I'll go ahead and put you a link down below and go to the... Uh, consumer SSD right there and let me see here and we want to go ahead and get the driver for the uh, Samsung uh, M.2 and that'll be just to optimize it and optimize speed and we want to go ahead and download that driver and we want to go ahead and hit open 
Double click on that. Uh, let's see. Yes. Uh, okay, in English. Okay, install. Let's go ahead and install English. Uh, next. And it'll ask us to reboot. Now, guys, um, this was really drastic. I was taking almost up to a minute to get going. And you know, Asus boards do got the post test. So you got to count that you got 15 to 18 seconds for post before you boot up. I still haven't found a way to disable that, which I'm not sure you can. So I was taking 15 to 18 seconds for post. On top of that, add another 40 seconds for me to boot up. After I did this, I went from uh, the 15 second post to a 10 second boot up. So total, total 25 seconds. So that saved me almost 40 seconds of boot up time. So, I mean, it's just up to you on how important boot up times are to you. So once we go ahead and do that, we want to go ahead and reboot uh, the PC one last time. And you got to do one last thing and, and then you'll be up and done. Uh, once you install the driver for the um, Samsung uh, SSD, you want to go ahead and reboot the computer. And once we are rebooted, you want to go to your device manager and make sure you have your disk or flash drive that came with your uh, motherboard because you do want to go ahead and install all your missing drivers. So if we go to our device manager real quick, that'll show us what we need. And you need to make sure that you reinstall all those chipsets and your graphic card or whatever you have. And then after that, you're good to go. Guys, that'll be it for my tutorial. I hope that it has helped you some. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, make sure you hit that button and subscribe. That'll really help and uh, appreciate it all very much. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.